Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lizard Fighter 111. Where am I right now? <laughs> I'm in the back seat of a car. Or in the, the trunk of a car. Well, um, anyway, in the last episode we got a key card. Basically. Um, if we go to all here, we can go right here. This, uh, Rorkish Drift key card is gonna get us into this, um, train station here so that we can move on to the next island. Now, fortunately for us, um, unfortunately for us, actually, we have no joy, so this thing is gonna catch us. So, I don't know how in the world we're gonna get past that. Uh, okay. Requires power. We gotta place a power cell in there. Nice. We got that. And swipe key card. Nice. So now, this thing should be open. Uh, is there any, like, joy pills? No, but we can't. Bloody hell. I've forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Exactly. Let's do that right now. <laughs> All right, we gotta run as soon as it's because that guy's gonna get us. Oh shit! Oh dear. No, no, no! Let me run out. Oh. Well, I should have expected that would happen. <laughs> I'm too bad that. You no, know, we could just get right, get right past it. We can't get in these doors anyway. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. Yeah, let's get in the world out of here. This, this place sucks. We're leaving. Well, I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. I'm opening up this door. Oh my god. Oh. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired. So we hanged them, to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <gasps> Oh, <coughs> oh jeez. I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Mm. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. If you can't figure out why people are angry with you, let's find out. Uh, increase suspicion to everyone but wastrels. On the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. <clears throat> now I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. Uh, yeah, I mean, so this sort of makes sense. Hello. Are you all right? Wow, that that is a huge building. Here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. <laughs> the germs. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river, and then all over Britain. I wonder if Prue made it this far. I wonder why Mr. Kite sent her to the gun. What are we gonna do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your ball bags, I'll piss in your corpses. <laughs> Scottish guy. <laughs> We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! Go eat a banger. You're done hoarding all the bee meat. Oh my! Quit blowing things up, man. Jesus, this ain't GTA. Jesus, I gotta, I gotta take you out. Just relax. Don't question it. That's what you get. You're unconscious now, so it's not like you can do anything. Looks like this guy. Oh my God! He just freaking respawned somewhere else. No one saw me hide. No. Well, but I could stay here forever, at least until I starved to death. Did you guys see that? That that guy like teleported everywhere. I was about to go choke him out, but he like freaking drank a potion somewhere and teleported and saw me. Oh man! All right, now I can take you out. Please don't. Because I freaking hid in the trash can. What's they have on you? Nothing. Of course you got nothing. 
God damn it. It takes them a very long time to uh, lose interest in me. But I'm taking this, all these guys out Look, no matter me. how long it's I have me. to wait. Look at me teleporting all over the place. Ooh, look at that. Just looking. There ain't nothing. Why is he why is he talking to a freaking vending machine? This guy's freaking crazy. You freaking looked over this way at the last second. Oh come on. Did I say I was Harry? Huh? Did I say that I was Harry? I don't even know who Harry is. Get the heck out of here. Die! Oh, I am V meat. Nobody has to be V meat. There. Caltrops. Come over here. Step on the Caltrops. Oh, you're stuck in the wall, aren't you? Ah. <laughs> uh, you can't do nothing. Alright, I'm gonna leave that guy. What's up here? Let's see. Looks like... Oh, I can't get up there from up down here. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just go the way I'm supposed to then. I freaking don't want to win this up. I decided I wanted to divert from... Oh my god. I wanted to divert from the path, but... You know me, I'm a big old rebel. But it wouldn't let me. Oh my Jesus! That guy scared me. He's dead. Ah, oh, that's how I get down. Right. Huh. Now I just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells. Jeez, I, I talk a big game, but I'm fr I'm a freaking coward. All right, let me stop being a coward here for a minute. Let me, let me bring my big boy balls up throughout this thing. What does it say? A, B, C, D. Oh, I need a switch. I can't do the C. Where would I find a switch? Hello? Switch? Part storage. Aha! Yeah, it seems like it would be in part storage. Now that makes some sense. Sebastian, we are worried. All right, let's actually make our way back to this thing. Where in the world did I... I wouldn't... Oh, there it is. Right there. Boom. Requires power. Oh, do you have to rotate this first? Aha! All right, cool. When unlocking the trackside door, always do be careful. Huh. So is that like a secret code? So A D B C A D B C Aha! I outsmarted you and you leave the code right right there for anyone to see it. Oh my jeez. Now we got another freaking memory we gotta watch. Come on, Arthur, stay strong. We can't be Living in the I'm past so like this. I, I should have got on the train with you. Like Give promised. me that money. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. Oh. That's what you could have done. Oh, another memory. I've just been stealing all the money and then... I promised I'd go with him. And you are too old to go to Germany, are you not? Please, no! You can't take care of yourself! Ah, Oh, so that's what happened. I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. I don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. I know. But at least you're here now. That's all we can say, but... Percy. Oh, man. Germany... wants to to fee you. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect grammar. Myself included. Not like I'm very good at English myself. Alright, let's make our way over Bloody here. Hell. There's been some sort of caving. 
Oh man. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. Now how are you supposed to do? Oh look! Bloody hell! Oh, a little freak. lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> this little miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, 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 can we pound him now? Yep. Yep, yep. So nonchalantly, just like, yep, let's kill him. You know what? No, I'm gonna let. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna freaking. No, I beat a freaking two-time champion last episode. I did. I did do that. You can't prove me wrong. I recorded it. I got evidence. I beat a two-time champion. I can beat you, sons of bitches. Oh, I got another bench. I got another branch. I'm not going by my fans right now. I think you guys got weapons and I don't. Huh? Die. Oh, I got one of them killed. Oh, we gotta kill the other two. This guy with the... Evidently, this guy was chosen first in the whole weapon choice. They just gave the other ones the branches off the trees. You know what I mean? This guy got the cricket bat and everything. Oh my blob. Yeah, let me, uh... Ah! Uh, no, I can't heal myself because people won't leave me alone. There we go. I ain't dying this early. I ain't gonna die. I'm gonna stay alive. Oh, I'm making my way up here. Gotta pick this lock to get in this room. I don't even know if this is the way I'm supposed to go. But I'm going in here anyway because I'm a rebel. And I ain't listening to what other people tell me to do. There we go. I got a new fancy weapon, guys. I found one. See, I'm not entirely useless. Get me in this room. What do you got in here? Anything special? No, just another one of these coin boxes that I can break open to steal the money out of? Well, I'll be son of a bitch. Actually, you know what? We've been finding all sorts of new fancy weaponry all over the place, man. I don't even know which one's better, but I'm taking this one because it looks intimidating enough. Like, if someone came at you with a bat, and if someone came at you with a frickin', um, lead pipe, which would you be more scared of? I don't think it really matters. I think you'd be equally as scared either way. I mean, you're gonna die either way. What the hell? Alright, beautiful thing. Who the hell is that? Do I have to kill some other bitch? Oh my god. Bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie? Ollie! Come from me, have you? No, Ollie, no. Ollie, I'm stop. Arthur. You won't get me. You won't get me, you bastard. Ah! No, 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 please, bro. It's Arthur. Seriously. Bloody murdering wastrels. You go mental. I'll save you, Margaret. Who the hell's I'm Margaret? Artie. Always lying. Little Artie. Artie's gone. They took him away. Ollie, no. They You're didn't. You're lying. You're a wastrel. Ollie, it's Arthur. Well, why didn't you see that before? I did. This freaking Scottish bastard! Oh my God, Artie! What a Artie! Yeah, for fuck's sake! What's your mouth, laddie? What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No, they had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry. No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in, and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back from the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him, Percy? The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this guy insane? I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... But it's young Artie! 
Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? Are you talking Maybe to the picture? The young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant. There's a warehouse in the old German camp. We could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. Of course there is! If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. <laughs> I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Won't that be the day? Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? I don't actually know the way out. That's Margaret. From school. Margaret. What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it. Is he, is he like talking to this picture of a dead girl or what the hell? This guy's crazy. This guy's gone insane. Alright, well, guess what? I don't think I, I don't want to steal from this guy. He probably doesn't have any, he's probably too insane to find anything himself, so. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, a lever. Oh, and hold it this way, of course. You know, these are the sort of things, Laser, that you have to learn. All right, now what? Meet the Cross Inkerman Bridge. Oh, no, cross the Inkerman Bridge and meet Ollie. All right, well, it's just another insane picture of me going, like, aimless around the place <laughs> with getting all sorts of different bushes and everything so yeah i'm not gonna make you sit through this so let's cut to the part where i go to the freaking bridge warning you are trespassing bridge to raven's home raven's home well that guy seems drunk and out of his mind because he's been drinking too much scotch uh, all right so good to know now can get in this room because I got a lockpick. Very nice. What is this? Uh, healing bomb. Healing bomb. Glass bottles and bandages. Oh my. More rocks up here. I thought they were potatoes. They'd be more useful if they were potatoes. Because I think I'm probably almost out of food now. I got the V-meat. So we should be pretty old. Oh, Jesus. Hey, let's get out of here. Make no way. fucking oh. civilians! Yeah. No, 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 don't kill you. Don't. Christ, I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. Let me, let me search you. I can't even search you. Very nice. Good game. Good game. I like that. So these freaking drunk military guys are gonna try to kill me? Man, they don't seem as much of a threat. Oh, I thought that was the fighting music there for a second. <laughs> All right, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go walking around the... This trail doesn't seem like there's anyone on it, so we could just walk across. What's that giant building over there? I mean, I know what that giant building is, but I don't know what that giant building is. Interesting. Gang. This game, they put so much effort into it. Ooh, there's another memory right here. Let's take it. Steal it. Up a tree. Arthur! Arthur? You get down from that tree before I chop it down. Do you know why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists, that's all. They're taking us away on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh. Oh, you all know about it, just not the kids. Look, they've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. 
They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while, I think. I don't want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, right. I'll, I'll come down. Yeah. Frickin' you know, I'm finding the tea! Finding the tea! I think I might be stuck, actually. Actually, I'm gonna put in a poll right now. Sweet or unsweet and iced tea? <laughs> yeah, might as well. I don't know why. It's just something interesting. I want the people's opinion here. Alright, what's going on here? Warning, bangers ahead, no dumping. I can't even get in. Okay, so we're getting out of here. Let's actually follow this thing now. I wanted to be a rebel and go an opposite way, but no, we actually have to do this now. Even though my dad wanted to send me off to Germany with all the freaking krauts and freaking... I don't know what else Germany has. All right, cool. Did you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. There's a hole in the fence, inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Then, sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The General keeps the keys in his desk. Do you want me to break into the General's office? Anyway, you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> they can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. Just like you. All right. The eerie... Irie... No, that's not oh, eerie. Let's see that map you made. Oh, Only sleeping potion for those chaps on the bridge. You know me, being a Midwesterner and all. I see eerie instead of ire. You, we shall never surrender. All right, let's actually do this now. There's nothing in here I can steal or raid. Unfortunately, I try to make my life easier. The dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate. Victory Memorial Camp. I don't know if I'm going to need that map any time future, but I'm just going to leave it for now. I'll have to come back if I need it. Welcome to the dump. <laughs> but it says no dumping. And even though there's trash right there. Alright. Dump at your own risk if you must, but we do not like it. <laughs> you can dump if you want, but we don't like it. All right, well, you know me, you know me, just gotta, just gotta do something right quick. And you can just maybe jump that in there, take one of those, get that out of here, and a pill bottle. There you go, dumping right there. <laughs> There's a, I have a banger right here, so I'm gonna aim it right at those, at the middle of these two guys so that it kills them. And boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, they don't see me. It didn't really kill them either. <coughs> and that is how you we just get rid of to disagree? military guards. Let's see what they got on there. Eh? Nothing. They got nothing. This guy has a Lee Enfield rifle. Let me see that. Ooh. Interesting. I'm a... Ah! Bayonet I can use now. Nice. You know me being an American? I just have to use the guns. <laughs> Give me this dart and none of everything over here. These darts. There's just regular darts. Yeah, there's regular darts. To do this to draw people's attention away from where you are. So that way we don't... We can just get all this stuff and loot it. Alright. Well... There's nothing else here, so let's move on. Oh, you have to get up on the roof somehow. I do some parkour. 
Eh. Not something I would have expected. All right. Here goes. All right, jump right in and freaking take a look. Oh my god, he saw me. Ru oh, ah! oh, what the hell? What? What is it? Oh. They did it. It's to the train station. We sent them off to Germany because of papier mache. Those freaking Germans! Oh my god. That made me angry, actually. These tanks are fake. They're freaking fake. And they had to send all their children away because these stupid tanks are fake. Uh, I couldn't. I can't be the only one who knows this. You've got to be kidding me right now. Well. That's a big freaking slap in the face. I am so jaded by that. I, I can't think of anything else. Oh my Jesus. Let me take out this guy. All right, and... Please don't make a fuss. Soldier down. Go back to Germany, you swine. I've never been to Germany before in my life. Never in real life either. Never in real life. Go back to Germany, oh, Blast. Freak. Oh, grenade. Grenade, grenade, run. You ain't see me no more. <laughs> and if it's over, you're gonna kill yourself. Now you ain't see me no more. So there's two people. Oh, no, no, no. There's one person right now. The other person's just gonna sort of hanging out here. So maybe if I toss a rock at him? Or no, if I toss... A dart over that way. Let's see what happens. Cool. Nice. So now they can't see me no more. Let's see if there's a back door. Oh, there is. Cool. I wasn't going to go straight in their front door. <laughs> No, now we're just gonna break right into this guy's office. Huh? Boom. I said the key was in General Bing's office. Uh, locate key to the generator's room. Of course it's locked. Maybe he put it in this. The General Bing's desk. And he locked it. So I have no. You've picked up a book. Back in 1964, people read books to learn how to do things better. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Hold on, let me try to find this thing. All right, well, that didn't take me long at all. The freaking picture frame in this room is openable. Piano sheet music. Note, chord, note, what a jolly tune. Maybe I should play it. Piano music, eh? Maybe I should have a read and play it. Alright, note. Chord. Note. Nice. Well, oh, clever clogs. Hey, boy, we got it. Nice. Finally, generator room's key. A hatch. If it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done. All right. Unlock my door and get in right in here. And we're not letting anyone else in here. Cool. Let's see what's in this desk. Oh, I got a short spike, huh? That thing is useful for taking out traps. It used to be a uh, simple lockpick. I'm not Jerry. No. They're a German. Uh, die. This is another one of these secret code things. All right, I went and looked back in the footage. Uh, it was ADBC before, so I'm gonna try that on this one. Uh, Don't miss it. A D. B, C. What? Nice. All right. Nice. Oh, come oh, on! Oh, he knew it was alarm, didn't he? I bet he bloody knew. 
Run! I'm not going to be able to jump over the fence from this side. I've got to get back to the general secret hatch. That's my way out. Ah! Die! Kill yourself! You ain't nobody stopping me. Not that I got so f damn far. Oh, I'm running. There's two people there. No, you're not getting me with your stupid grenade. Don't you know I'm the real one? You're talking a laser fighter 111 here. Get in the heck in this hatch. Papier mache tanks. I know. Newspaper and fucking glue. Right. Now if I can make it back to Ollie alive, he'll help me get out of town. Assuming that wasn't another lie. That won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it? How? They made the freaking tanks out of paper mache. That's insane. Make our way back to the dang Ollie, where he has to explain himself. Because that's some bull. You are quite hungry. Well, I got some V-meat right here. Nice. You are well hydrated. Yeah. Open the door. Young Artie! Come on up! A piece. I will kill you! I will seriously take my freaking shovel to your face! Ollie, whatever the heck his last name is. Ha, huh, wrecked. What? Are you killing me right now? Did you just see that? I glitched through the elevator and now I can't get out. Oh, there we go. Hey, Get back down here! What do you think this is, huh? Oh, I guess I could have just used that lever right here, right? Like, that would have made more sense. There we go. That makes more sense. I didn't see that there at first, alright? I'm blind. All right. Let's do this. That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Stop talking to your the picture! Power switch was alarmed. It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew. How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. We wouldn't have given them Percy and the others. It up. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh, my God. I lied my way off that train. What? I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. <laughs> Are you kidding me? If it was I thought they got the birthday wrong. I just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> The one in the parade, on Apple Home. How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. You're right, I'm always right. Ever seen one of these? What does no. it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm. And supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well then, see you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Hmm. I don't want to leave this guy behind. He's insane, but... Sick up tea. To cure food poisoning. By making myself throw up. Oh, God. I but I wind up having to eat a lot of rotten things. And having to throw them up. Yeah, because that would lower freaking food level. Alright, I'm out of here. All this... All this emotion rising, I'm getting pissed at this guy, and then all of a sudden I figured out that he wasn't wrong at all, and then he get, I get sad because I have to leave him here, and he's gonna die here. 
Ah oh, man, I don't even know my way off this dang thing. Well, there's an elevator right there. I'm taking it. Get wrecked. You know what? You're not cool. You're not cool at all. What is Can't this? Something else? No. This is like my heart. It's broken in multiple places. Oy. Jesus. All right. Let's come up to this guy. Hello. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Y you're not... Some sort of undercover bridge inspector. Hell yeah, this device I am. detect structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Constable Wright. That guy. You know, you don't, you're not, you're not fooling anyone, Constable oh, Wright. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Uh, no, apparently not. There is another way. Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Take a number? What? Take a freaking number? What the loca? What do you think this is? Okay, fine. I'll take a number. Wait. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So how's the weather where you guys are, huh? How is that weather? Because I gotta wait down here and I gotta talk about everything? Number oh. two. Now survey number two. That's me? That is me? Hello? Welcome to the rehabilitation center. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. This bitch. I would kill you if I had any way to access you. Fine! Fine! I'll do my stupid rehabilitation. Please deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Uh, okay. Here. Please continue to the decontamination room. Decontamination room? What talk about? Sort of means like something I get to eat my sandwich. Right here, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like... Please discard your clothes. You alright, man? Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Alright. Well, if you say so, I'm just gonna strip down right in front of this guy. I'm sure he would like that. Now, if I was Percy, I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. He never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Alright, my shoes and my torn suit. I will take that over to the container. Alright, move and move. Okay, cool. This guy seems pretty unfortunately mad about himself, you know what I mean? Alright, now what? Shower? Alright, shower? 
All right, let's do it. He's not even sitting in the water. What song is that? Congratulations, you have been decontaminated. Please proceed yeah. to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. Turn the oh, water I'm off. Watching. I'm judging. Turn the water off. We, you're just gonna leave the water running. You know how much freaking how expensive your water bill is gonna be. Do you know how expensive your water bill is gonna be? All right, fine. I don't care. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna make it down, and these people don't even turn the water off. Uh, these people. This is these people don't I don't you like. Look wonderful. Do I even have it on? There and yeah. Cool. Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Well, how in the world is that? Does the, the garden district has flowers and you and and is it and you're making me? Yeah. All right, fine. You know what? I don't is care. Flickerish. Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Man, I don't freaking care. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh! Damn it! They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? No, they weren't. Okay, fine. Fine! I wanted to be a rebel, but this game doesn't let me! Freaking... I guess we have to be all bright and shiny. Joy makes you happy, but care not to take too much. The joy meter will keep track of your joy experimentation. Help you track your joy experimentation. If the joy meter fills, you will overdose and suffer penalties to combat, crafting, and conformity until the overdose passes. As you take more joy, you'll notice memory loss counter around the joy meter, and this counter attacks your memory loss from taking joy too many times. When this meter is full, you will crash and suffer severe penalties. For this reason, you should use joy tactically and only when necessary. Man, well, I'll take it whenever I want to. Good. What does this guy have on? This room is for showing Uncle Jack only. It is not for other activities. Use the cozy cottages if you must. Where? Um, I like to be up up here while I'm watching. I don't like to be down at the bottom. And I like to be in the middle. So let's watch Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack, how you doing, man? Now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering... How can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax, and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. Hey, he's very good. <laughs> uh, you know, that's the best well, joke I've heard all week. Time. Tune in tomorrow for another etiquette Finally. With Jack Worthing. Finally. This guy, you're boring. I don't want to watch you no more. Uncle Jack, wonderful. Now, please proceed to the third floor where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Leave me in my 
You leave me to go all out of my business. Bringing joy to the world since 1953. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking, or entering. Such like behaviors is what we associate with downers. Avoid them, and we shan't have disagreements. Fine, let's get in. Nice. I gotta take a test now. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. No. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? I know Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. Hey! Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. <laughs> the eyes! The eyes! Uh, let's go say hello. What about this guy? This guy, I think you answered that question wrong, yes, buddy. That's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Yay! I got it right! This is the first quiz question I've got right! Was not the right answer. Haha! <laughs> Don't be choosing C. Mrs. Browning, <clears throat> what would you like to know? If you realize you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? Uh, I would say pop a joy, but uh, clothes and joy seems like the proper answer. You know what I mean? You're exhausted. That's right. Yeah, that's right. It's not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Player yeah, two. that's the second question I I've got right. Thing does not actually have eyes. Jack Constable, 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 your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. <laughs> Run and jump and play myself. See. Oh god, the eyes. Uh Seems like join in would be a good thing, but we're choosing A. Come on, don't choose the eyes, dude. I know what you're about to choose. If you need to get somewhere, don't lurk about like a rotten downer, or run like you're fleeing the scene. Or jump about. No need to be in a hurry in Hamlin Village. Uh, I don't have time to walk around all the time. To succeed. Mrs. Sackville, your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers, B. Talk about old times, C. Oh, no. Stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? No, we're not going to talk about old times. We're going to give you a nice pack of flowers. Very nice. Excellent. Yes. Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. They do so love flowers. Yes, we did it. I have you both, as they say. <laughs> disappointing. Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. Who gives a shit? Honestly! Just pop another joy and you won't remember anything. You know what I mean? That's right. <laughs> yeah, I got all five answers. questions. You might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench. No worse for the wear. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seventh try. 
I got them all right. You made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always I happy. I better have made it to the village now. All right, what's oh, up? That's a relief. Nice. What? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's I'm not playing this again. The game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper decent person. I'm not playing oh, no. this again. I paused the test. I, I know. Said, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave now? No, I'm guests, actually not. I'm out of here. You one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington World. I'm not going to get off in this way. <laughs> if you want to fit in, you should A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like how you do B. Uh, let me see judges, here for a second or not. C. The eyes, the eyes The eyes, the eyes That's not the answer we're looking for Oh well, too bad Too bad May I express my delight that you passed the <clears throat> examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Bastard. What is this? You're not my mom. You can't tell me to go inside. Oh, behave. Oh. Lovely day for it. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Hey, we made it. We did it. So from here. I've got to get to St. George's home, and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Oh! Right. The old government printing office was on maiden home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Maybe I can! Well, that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. My name is LaserFighter111. If you like this episode of We Happy Few, be sure to leave a like. That's gonna have to do it for this video. My name is LaserFighter111. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video for more awesome content, and I will see you guys later.